Festa Italiana is full of family fun activities, but one staple is bocce ball. If you have never played or care to know the history and importance of bocce ball, check out these die-hard players from the Italian Community Center who are preparing for the Festa Bocce Ball Tournament. Bocce ball! Bocce ball! <laughs> the real way to say it, the Italian way, is bocce. Some say the game came from the Roman Empire during the time of Julius Caesar. But Betty Puccio shares with us another side, one that says the Egyptians started the beloved Italian game. When Mark Anthony went to Egypt and met and fell in love with Cleopatra, he also fell in love with the game of bocce. So he brought both back to Italy, Cleopatra and the bocce. bocce <laughs> Cleopatra didn't survive, but bocce is very much alive and well. Dean Canestra began playing bocce when he was a kid with his grandfather who came to Milwaukee in the beginning of the 1900s and says the history of the game comes from his grandfather personally. Him and his friends played bocce right here in this third ward, right in the land that we're standing on right now, where this was like a little community. There was homes, there was churches, there were stores. People would play out in their backyard, they'd play in the, in the gravel streets. That's the history of the game to me. Who was the one that was... Sal in here. About half the size of Sal, believe it or not, is when I started playing the game of bocce. Anybody can play. For a how-to guide, watch Canestra teach us how to play bocce. Two colors, two teams, the green and the red. We have the little ball, the small ball, the polino. That's the target ball. The object here is get as close as you can to the little ball. That's the target ball, the polino. Green goes first. They throw out the, ball, the little ball and they follow it up with the bocce ball. The larger balls are called the bocce balls. Green gets closer to the ball. Now it's up to red to get closer than the green. If they don't get closer on the first shot, they can throw their next shot or the third or fourth shot to try to get closer to the green ball. If they get closer to the green ball on the first one, it's up to green to go. It's really not that complicated. At the end, we look whose balls are closer. If green balls, how many green balls are closer than the red balls, or vice versa. If red has more balls closer than green, we add all those closer balls up for a total of either one to four points maximum. Per frame, we play up to 12 frames. And we start, whoever gets the points on this frame starts throwing the polino going back this way, and we play up to 12. After that, the game is finished, we have a drink, and then we start all over again. Congratulations. Who won? You know who won. Congratulations. The old timers beat the younger generation. <laughs>